Welcome to the Vacumax customer test lab in Belleville, New Jersey. Vacumax has been in operation since 1954, handling over 10,000 different materials. We ask a lot of questions about every application. The first key question we'll ask is, what are the characteristics of the powders that are being handled? We want to know what particle sizes are, what the shape is, uh, how free-flowing is it, does it have moisture content, and what is the bulk density? So today, we have a couple of examples. We have a uh, cereal product. This is a ground-up corn cob product. This is a cake and brownie mix. And this is a uh, coconut milk powder. They all have different characteristics. Some will be lumpy when they are conveyed or received. Others require very fine filtration. Others are very free flowing and non-dusty. And others are fragile, but very lightweight. So we take all these considerations uh, into account when we select receivers for your application. Starting with the most basic uh, free flowing materials uh, and uh, non-fragile, we have a concentric cone receiver. It's a classic cone with the uh, bottom opening and the top opening in the same uh, center line. For materials that are less free flowing, we have what we call an offset cone. You can see one side has a 70 degree slope. The other side is straight, 90 degrees parallel uh, to the uh, to vertical. With this receiver, we can handle almost 90% of materials uh, because it eliminates this other shoulder, eliminates this side of the cone. So we can handle 90% of materials, even up to some very difficult non-free flowing materials. In the worst case, applications for materials that don't, won't flow or they have very light density. We have what we call a tube hopper receiver, which is a straight sided cone, which may sound like an oxymoron, but it is a straight tube all the way down to the discharge valve. And that receiver is designed for high moisture content like milk powders or uh, egg uh, dried egg powders, uh, or also fibrous materials sticky materials like brake shoe or smokeless tobacco, that receiver or the tube hopper is unbeatable. So as you can see, Vacumax does not have a one size fits all receiver. And we suggest that you don't let other suppliers tell you that uh, that, that is the case. We have pre-engineered and custom engineered receivers in uh, these different configurations that will suit exactly your, your products, your powders, your your uh, non-powdered materials. No matter what, Vacumax has a solution. The wrong type of filtration will take away all the power from the most powerful vacuum pump. The filters are the lungs of a pneumatic conveying system, and without good lung capacity, you won't convey any material. And with the wrong type of filter selection, you could spend more time cleaning the filters for sanitation or maintaining them if you haven't selected the right type. So Vacumax offers several different filters as part of our engineered packages. We have a sock type filter, which is just a smooth surface, and it has a metal cage inside for support. Generally, there will be five or seven of these filters in a filter assembly. We also have what we call a unifilter, which is also supported by a metal cage and it would be generally for materials that are less dusty or for lower rate systems. We also offer what we call a pleated bag. Pleated bag is the same dimensions as a sock type filter, but has five to seven times more filter area in the same diameter. It has a rubber cuff at the top, and you'll notice that this type of filter has no end cap. So material will not build up in the bottom of the pleats as it's being used. And then we have a cartridge filter. The type we use does not have any expanded metal on the outside so that it can discharge the material, release the powder easily when it's pulsed. Metal cages have a tendency to hold the powder in. All of these filters are, uh, use a standard media type. Uh, we 
use a static conductive media as standard. So all whether it's a fabric sock or whether it's a unifilter or a pleated cartridge, pleated bag, or whether it's a single cartridge element, they are static conductive and they will have ground wires for each, for each element. They are also Teflon coated or spun bond polyester on the exterior. So the outside of the filter will be slippery, non-stick surface. So when it is pulsed clean, it will release the product easily. Depending on what industry you're in, you may select a different style of filter. Companies in the food and pharmaceutical industry may need more cleanability. So they would tend to use a smooth surface filter or a unifilter as opposed to a pleated filter. They may want to use the unitary filter instead of a multi-filter that would have several bags just because it's easier to clean. Proper filter selection, not just media, but also shape and ability to release product and ability to be clean are critical factors in selecting filters. As I said before, the filters are the lungs of a pneumatic conveying system. And if you don't have good lung capacity, good surface area, good cleanability, it doesn't matter how much power you put on it. So thank you for your time.